I just recently went back to the gym, for okay. instance, and I've been as much as I'm trying to like build my body and um, tone up my body. I'm also very conscious and very particular about my fitness, like even mentally, mm -hmm. because that's what even drove me to the gym in the first place. Mm -hmm. I needed to be fit mentally. I felt like my brain was too idle. I mean, not like I don't do any other work. Of course mm, I do. But then mm. I just felt like my brain was too idle. There was nothing to like push and push and push. I needed that extra push mm. from my brain to my body. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. And it has been really, really working. So I feel more alive now mm. than I used to feel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just felt really heavy. I felt like, was I eating too much? Or was I eating mm. at night so late or something? Mm -hmm. But I feel a lot. The things I couldn't do before, I can do them now. Mm. I can climb like so many stairs mm -hmm. and not be panting like something else, you yeah. know. I, I just feel really fit. I feel really good. Mm -hmm. I feel very good about my body and myself yeah. generally. Yeah. So I think it's working. It's like, you know, a child. When a child starts working, you literally can't stop the child from working from the first day the child starts, you know, to move around. The child wants to just bounce all over the place and then it's moving. And then for a child, that is normal, right? And then as you evolve into your teenage years as well, you still have a lot of energy and then you can jump around all over the places. And what that means is that whatever you're eating, your body is breaking it down very easy and then it's digesting as fast as it can be. But it's a problem when you have like a grown adult jumping up, up and down like a child. Everybody will be wondering, okay, what's going on? Is everything fine with this person, you know? And that's what it is really. So which is where we have to, you know, begin to look at the things that we consume, the things that we take in so that we can, you know, watch how it goes because our body doesn't really break it down so much. Mm -hmm. And then also as we evolve, we begin to find out that some food doesn't sit well with us. The people that are lactose intolerant, for example, the people that can't handle gluten very well, for example, mm -hmm. like me. And then you need to be aware of those, you know, food and then it then guards what you do. It also guards the activities that you do as well because sitting down too long or so because you're an adult is also a problem. Mm -hmm. You don't move around as much as a child, you know, just flowing from that space. And that's really what it is actually. Mm -hmm. I would say intolerance is more so than allergies, mm -hmm. yeah. but I mean, I've developed, like my mother, I developed lactose intolerance <laughs> in my old age. I use, I'm a coffee drinker, so I'm not so, I'm trying to transition into green tea, but I'm a coffee drinker. <laughs> and then I realized that I will have coffee with milk and then my tummy will be going on me. Mm. And I remember that when, you know, you, you don't realize things when you're younger, but then I, I sort of remember that there was a time that my mom, my mom was a cereal eater, like rice crispies, every morning rice crispies for breakfast. And one day my mom just said she can't drink milk anymore. I was like, we can't drink milk, what do you mean? Mm. Guess yeah, what? Geez. It has caught up with me. Um, <laughs> but what, what do people, um, because when we're talking about aging, my own intolerance showed up later in life. How do people pay attention to these changes and notice them so that they can mitigate them? I think it's from the place of awareness. Is from the place of intentionality. I think the thing actually, you know, springs up a lot earlier. It's just that we're not paying attention to it. So for me, in my uh, 20s, for example, I just found that, that when, I, when I take um, pastries, breads, and stuff like that, I really get bloated. I couldn't put my finger to what the exact reason it was, but I knew that I, then I started observing what I was taking in. And then because I play in the wellness space, maybe I was a bit more aware. And I think it's from, so to answer your question, it's from the place of being intentional. You know, life really is about being intentional about every aspect of life anyway. So I think the one major part that we neglect, that we don't pay attention to is our health, you know, mm -hmm. and our body and what our body tells us. When your body is tired, it tells you. Yeah. When you're having an headache, your body's saying, shut me down, I need to rest. Mm. When you eat and you're bloated or when you're heavy, your body's telling you something. It's either that the thing you took in is not good for you. And, you know, you were talking about milk. There are milk options you can take, oh, actually, yeah. you know. It doesn't yeah. have to be cow milk, which is even cheaper. There's coconut milk, there's tiger nut milk, which are a lot cheaper, bland-based milks that you milk. can take. People say the taste is not the same, but I think it's just what our tongues are used to. So, yeah, really. you have to re-educate your palate, <laughs> but I'll, um, <laughs> I've made the transition. So that's one of the changes that I made this year. I yeah. went whole food plant-based, mm. um, and it's been... It's been amazing. Mm -hmm. So I can I can definitely attest to... I mean, I, I stopped drinking dairy milks last year. That was the first change, actually, that I made. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten used to plant-based plant milks, even though the two that you mentioned, I don't <laughs> like it out there. <laughs>